I want to get over to our other reporter, Courtney Yoon. She is live out in Highlands Ranch as well. Courtney, seeing a lot of that damage this morning. Yeah, Jordan, we are seeing a lot. We're actually in the Stewart family's backyard right now, and um, this trampoline here is is not their trampoline that um, they have. They have a trampoline, but this is not theirs. If you look into the yard next to theirs too, you can see that this giant tree fell over, just disarray and damage everywhere, debris everywhere. Things that they don't know where they came from. They're they're like, this is not our from our fireplace. This is not from our roof. But I'm here with Allison Stewart, who lives here. How long have you lived here, Allison? Uh, Twenty years. Over 20 years. And like we're hearing from many people, never see anything like this. Never, T never. Tell me what it was like last night. Well, it was scary and uh, just overwhelming. And we got to the basement and then we just heard the noise and we just saw things flying around. And when it calmed down, we came up and this is the first thing we saw in our yard. And this is not our tree. Right. So <laughs> not your trampoline and not your tree. No. So it was, but we're all safe. Everything's okay. And you told me it was something like, you know, you guys get the warning, you kind of brush it off. You're kind of like, this happens yeah. all the time, but it, it was different this time. Why, why was it different this time? You guys kind of felt more of that keen sense that we need to get down in the basement. Yeah, and as the wind, we saw the wind outside and we start, started to see the trees actually swirl. Then we said, all right, we need to get to the basement. I mean, tell me what else you've seen. You've, you've been telling me there are neighbors that are out of town, that people came and helped board yeah. up their windows. Uh, there's been a big community effort here. Yeah, as soon as the rain stopped, everyone up the road up here grabbed their chainsaws. The road was covered. It was impassable. And there was just probably a foot of water just swirling in the road. Everybody got their chainsaws, came out and just started clearing it. Fire came through. Some of our friends came by. It's been great. We've had a lot of young people drive by and say, does anyone need any help? It's been really great. So and we're all safe. Yes, that's a big yeah. point that really matters. And you were telling yeah. me your skylight came off, so water was just pouring down <laughs> yeah. your house? So the skylight in the bathroom just got sucked off and flown somewhere else. So it was just pouring and hailing into our bathroom. So my sink was full of hail and tree boughs, which you don't expect to see in your master bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you really so, don't yeah. want that. No, but it's okay now. Yeah. We dried it up. What's what's the plan? I know that's, that's a, a big question today. <clears throat> yeah, so insurance will probably just start to clean up a little bit just kind of clean this area i don't know what we're going to do with this but we'll just start the cleanup slow and steady and everyone is here to help and we're all just gonna this this neighborhood is great colorado's great everybody just gets together and gets it done yeah, we love yeah. seeing that. We were seeing that yesterday too. Yeah. our crews that were out there. You know, they were an hour after the storm and people, like you said, coming out with their chainsaws and their axes and strangers helping people that they don't even know. Yeah, um, that's a great community effort. So. Yeah, that's like the silver lining of this, I think, is bringing people together. But South Metro Fire was telling us yesterday they had anywhere from 100 to nearly 300 calls for service between 3 and 5 p.m. yesterday. And that was all here in the Highlands Ranch area. This neighborhood that we're in right here, um, this is um, the area that the National Weather Service, they put out a pre preliminary track of where they think this tornado went through and this neighborhood is right along that route. And if you drive anywhere along here, you'll see tree down after tree down, um, patio furniture and people's trees, trash in people's trees, um, just a lot of damage here and a lot for these neighbors to have to deal with today.